Hello guys, welcome to Global Happenings. Today we have a trending news here for you. And the headline of the news reads, A renowned bishop says he has the cure. Bring all the sick people to me. And uh, But before we go on with details of the news and for the analysis, we'd like to encourage you to please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime you publish videos on youtube all right let's look at the news in detail the founder of house of joy ministry bishop sam zuga has expressed his willingness to treat anyone infected with coronavirus bishop zuga who spoke at a crusade to sensitive people on coronavirus in yola adamawa state said anyone with coronavirus should be referred to me for treatment the clergyman declared that he was not afraid of covid 19. according to bishop zuga he said no virus can survive in my body my body is a temple of god it can't accommodate anything called virus uh, coronavirus is not different from any other disease that God has been using me to heal. A virus cannot decide for me. I would tell, stay at home when I want, not when virus is giving orders. I can't stop going to church because of mere virus. How can I dishonor the creator because of the creature? I cannot help the devil to keep people by forcing them to stay at home and be killed by hunger. There is no difference between those killed by coronavirus and those who died of hunger. I am calling on all sick people, not only victims of coronavirus in Nigeria and beyond, to meet me in Yola at Damawa State. They will surely go back with a tangible testimony. All right, that is the word of a renowned man of God in Yola State who says, I have the cure, I can heal all manner of person who have that sickness called um, coronavirus. And, um, you know, this is one of the things that have been causing a lot of uh, um, trouble in the body of Christ and among Christians. A lot of people believe that the pastors, this is the time they should prove the faith that they have been preaching over the years. Some of them call themselves 001 faith master and all of that. But Sam has this, uh, Zuga has this, uh, Bishop Zuga has decided to come out to tell Nigerians that, hey, he's got all the power that can heal um, coronavirus. I believe in faith. I respect faith because without faith in Christendom, it is believed that you cannot receive anything from the Lord. But then you must, you know, have affirmation in your spirit that the faith you have will not equivocate in the face of these challenge that is in front of us that's why most of the pastors have decided to stay back home if you reflect back on some of the reports that we have received thus far especially in respect to this coronavirus we've heard it happen in a church um in in, in a mosque and we've also heard it happen in a church um, um let's just look at that which had happened in a church you know one pastor rooney hampton of uh, new vision community church uh in Shiva Port, they said he died on the Wednesday evening. That's this week. And according to the information, he just started having, you know, some things, some um, symptoms proving that he, he was already infected. He, the man is about 64 years old and he died. And uh, just apart from him dying, it's also believed that most people have already been infected. There's another one by a 91 year old church goer who also died after. After a pastor hosted service that ended up infecting almost 34 people, 34 people, you know, in his church. And man, this is absolutely uh, wrong. I think at this point, you have to, first of all, apart from just yourself, you have to look at the people. If Would the people fit be able to stand it? Because And also look at what kind of instruction is the government giving out. Don't forget that one of the things written in the Holy Bible is that we have to abhor to those who are in the seats of authority because they have been positioned there by God. None of them can stay there if God have not given them the power to be there. So if the government of the day say, shut down, no movement, no church services, gathering beyond 50 shouldn't be allowed to hold, I think it's wise for us to obey and stay off until this whole issue passes on. But then if there's anyone who feels that the government has failed and also signs have failed and he has the 
the conviction in his spirit that he's got all it takes to heal. Well, I, I, will, I wouldn't like to stop you because I know with faith all things are possible. We know that faith has healed uh, AIDS. It has healed a lot of sicknesses. But then don't put people in trouble. Don't say I can heal um, just exactly the way this man has said that he can heal um, sickness, um, all manner of sickness, inclusive of coronavirus. And you cause people to come from nooks and crannies to gather and they end up increasing the number of people affected. This thing is so sharp that you can contact, especially for elderly people like the Pastor Rooney was about 64 years and now he has passed on to glory. You know, he had died because possibly he did not take the required precautions and all of that. It's 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 painful to lose people like that. Uh, according to the community where he he was um he was uh, you know congregating people for church, and uh, they said that he's um, a superb pastor who's been a, a very good guy and all of that. He's been wonderful to them and you know all of that. But now he has passed on. How about if he had adhered to instruction and stay away from you know trying to prove that he's stronger than everybody. So I think at this point one must be careful if you know that you have the power within to heal all manner of sicknesses then you must uh, make sure that you don't disadvantage other people nigerians are still hopeful that there's going to be a solution the federal government itself is right now very very threatened why are they threatened according to lai mohammed he said that people tend not to hearken to instructions that have been given thus far they've been talking about social distancing at least you should before you commune with somebody it should be like one meter away from the other person and uh, they have also been suggestion the most prevalent of them all is the fact that we've got to stay back at home so that those that are infected will not end up infecting more people and causing nigeria to be in trouble Currently now, more than four, 3,000 people are being sought after by the federal government. And the reason why they are looking out for those people is the fact that they have, been inf they have had one or two contacts with those who were infected with the virus. For example, Bala Muhammad, the governor of Bauchi State, according to the information that we've gotten, it's uh, 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 about two or three persons in his office or who work closely with him have also tested positive to the virus. And don't forget that these same people who have tested positive to the virus may have interacted with other people. And that's why government is trying to prevent that because it's not all about you being infected. If you refuse to you know, yourself, isolate yourself or to quarantine yourself in your house and you continue to go out there, interact with friends, interact with loved ones, they are going to get it also. Some of them are, you know, they're into services. They provide services. And since Nigerians are refusing to hearken to instruction, if they go out there to a more wider gathering, maybe to the market, to go and continue with their businesses, you realize that everyone they're going to be interacting with, they will keep on infecting people. And before we know, in the next one, in one, in the next um, uh, one month, the, the the number of infected person positive case will increase seriously. As I'm talking to you right now, United States of America, whom we had thought will possibly provide solution to this, um, though some of the governors of different states are saying that they. Um, Donald Trump has shown some level of insensitivity, but I don't think he has shown insensitivity. But right now, as I'm talking to you, I, I've just seen a report that uh, the number of infected persons in the United States is even has grown above the number in China and also in Italy. Don't forget that the uh, United States is so populated, you know, they have you know, the number they have, the positive persons infected with the virus is now higher. They are now number one, higher than uh, um, China and also Italy. This just to show to you that if people do not, uh, if people refuse to hearken to instruction, refuse to follow instruction, automatically it's going to get worse and worse and the economy of the country will keep on going down and down every day. And that's why the government believe that at this point people need to stay away from social uh, interactions. Let's see how we can stay back home and prevent the spread of it. The 3,000 or 4,000 
uh, and something persons whom the federal government uh, is looking out for, I think um, uh, they, 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 they should identify themselves and self-isolate themselves. Don't forget also that uh, in the uh, African Magic uh, Viewers uh, um, Conference that they had, you know, in 2020, according to the information provided by the Commissioner of Health in Lagos State, he says that about that one person was infected. The one of the attendees of that MCA, AM, uh, VCA uh, award night, one person was infected there, and that every attendee of that particular um, award night they should quarantine themselves. It took place in, you know, uh, a co hotel, yeah. And um, according to other persons, they said after he had finished it, he went to Victoria Island, one of the you know clubs in Victoria Island, to enjoy himself. Now, everyone that had interaction needs to have um, this self-isolation. Uh, uh, they need to self-isolate themselves so that we can help curb this thing. Because the truth of the matter, if we don't take time, it can even erase a generation. As much as we obey this, we have to also stand on the word of God and believe God that this um, uh, pandemic will not end up eradicating the whole of human race. We are hoping and believing that we will learn. For pastor, for Bishop Zuga, Oga, uh, we know you have faith. We know you, you, you have power to heal all manner of sicknesses. I, I, I would have even preferred that you go to where these people are in... Um, Abuja, go to uh, you know NCDC in Abuja, that, that's the Nigerian uh, Center for Disease Control, or to where they are isolating these people to go and do your healing there. Because if you are saying they should bring them down to your last state, it therefore means they are going to enter transport. And most of them who are going to enter transport, they may not disclose to the driver that they are infected. And which means that they will end up infecting more people. They, by the time they get to Yola State, they must have infected virtually more than 100 people. So you end up healing one person and then end up destroying 100 people. So we are advising at this point, no matter how strong your faith is, if you want to prove it, go straight to the NCDC or to where these people are in uh, infectious disease hospital in Lagos, in Yaba, Lagos, go and do your healing there so that we can uh, prevent the spread. That's where we're going to leave it. Go to